Welcome to Rational Alchemy. Today, I am joined by two wonderful people from Exotic Elephant. Now, I can almost hear your brains ticking over there going, Exotic Elephant, what on earth is he waffling on about? Well, I'm going to let them explain. Joining me at the table today is Elle and Megan. Elle, why don't you just give us a brief introduction of yourself and where you fit in? I'm Elle. I am um, an esthetician, co-founder of Exotic Elephant and Megan's Daughter. And Megan? I am um, co-founder of Exotic Elephant, and I do a lot of the marketing, sales, website, all of that stuff, and uh, keeping her in line. <laughs> that, that must be an uphill struggle. It is. <laughs> I bet. And Elle, you, you're basically the wizard. Oh. Yeah, kind of. When it comes to the formulations, the product formulation. Understood. Excellent. <laughs> that makes you a wizard, doesn't it? It's or an something. alchemist. I Maybe like an alchemist. Because it is called yeah. rational alchemy, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> now, what we haven't done is explain exactly what exotic elephant sells. Now, I know you spent a year in the development and you've been selling for a year, but why don't you explain exactly what it is we're talking about? Sure. So we create CBD products. Um, we grow hemp here in Longmont, and we um, take the oils from the, the hemp flower, and we make topicals and tinctures. Okay. So let's just go back a little bit. Who came up with the name Exotic Elephant? Yep, that was me. That I was came you. up with the name, and the, the reasoning behind that is because cannabis and hemp has been around for so long, but in our how we see it in our society, it's such a new thing. It's such an exotic plant, and so I thought exotic had to be in there, and I needed it to be catchy. So elephant, and elephants are such strong animals, but they're gentle. Now, CBD, a, a lot of people have heard the expression. Uh, a lot of people seem to think they know what it is, mm -hmm. okay? Why don't you talk a little bit first, how is it actually extracted? CBD is primarily in hemp plants. And hemp also has trace amounts of THC, but not enough to get you high. It, it could increase, but the regular limits is 0.3%. You grow hemp, you can grow it indoor, you can grow it outdoor. We grow outdoor only, and we harvest, we hand harvest, um, and we shuck the plant, and then we take the flower, we use CO2 processing, and we get an oil. And we use full spectrum crude oil, um, some distillate, but primarily crude oil. And we like the CO2 because it's cleaner, there's no solvents, and um, provides a better product. Okay, so, so it really is helping to keep it as a, as a natural product. Exactly. Crude oil, now everyone's gonna think, Fracking. Right. And I'm sure that's not <laughs> what you mean. No. <laughs> when you say crude oil, what are we talking about here? So that is the first step in processing the hemp plant. Mm -hmm. um, you get crude oil and we... But what, what is it? It's an oil. It really looks like oil. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. And if you use um, different types of um, methods to yes. get it, it looks like... Tar. Tar, tar, almost. We use CO2 because it's gold and looks like honey. Ah. And yes. so, yeah, so that's, and then you can go on to do, um, you could take out THC mm -hmm. and then you have broad spectrum, then you have isolate. But the reason why we like full spectrum, because you get an entourage perfect or yes. effect, yeah. um, and your body recognizes the 100 and plus cannabinoids in the, the product, so you will you will get the benefit that you need. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk about benefits a little bit later because I know uh, different products have different benefits oh, yeah. and, and how even how they're applied mm -hmm. have different benefits. But you mentioned the farm. Um, do you own the farm? Yes, we have yes. a farm here in um, Longmont. Okay. As, uh, real close to here, actually, by Union Reservoir. Yes. And so we uh, grew 13 acres there in 2019. 
and um, was really lucky. Um, didn't have any impact with the typical hail storms or mm -hmm. wind that we had. I was lucky. Yeah, and um, we had great, great plants. It means you control the whole cycle, right from the planting of the original seed to the development of the product. Yeah, exactly. And it must be nice having that total control over oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it also allows us to create a really quality product and um, provide affordable prices on it. That's good. Yes. Right. And I'm, I'm going to assume, I know the answer, I'm sure, all GMO free. Yes. Not no genetically modified anything no, in correct. this product, mm -hmm. right? And we did um, we we picked the genetics, the seeds. Mm -hmm. We hand seeded them, grew them in hoop houses, then we transplanted them in the ground. We tested the soil, the water, um, and then along the way to make sure that there was no um, toxins or heavy so, metals. Heavy metals. Or if any of the farmers next to us, if we have rain, if anything washes, we made sure that um, it wasn't coming cross-contaminating with our crops. Excellent. So, Excellent. Yeah. So you really do keep an mm -hmm. incredibly tight control over the whole process, oh, yeah. in yeah. fact. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's good to hear. I think it's worth mentioning you, you're growing hemp, not marijuana. Yes. So if anyone's thinking of trying to find the farm, they may as well give up now oh, yeah. unless they're into paper making. As you mentioned, mm -hmm. CBD is it's just one of a hundred mm -hmm. cannabinoids mm -hmm. associated yeah. to uh, marijuana hemp. But the benefits of CBD sort of a little unproven at the moment, mm -hmm. though millions of people swear by it. Mm -hmm. Can you give a brief example of some of the benefits that really help people the most when it comes to CBD? Sure. I think the first thing that people will recognize and use CBD is for anxiety, um, depression, inflammation. Um, and so you have um, edibles or things that you digest, you put in your mouth, you eat. You also have topicals for an isolated um, pain. pain relief. Mm -hmm. um, so those are the main ones. There's so many others that that are coming out that are being, you know, small studies. Um, but those are the, the main reasons why people use CBD. Okay, so, so basically, um, should we say, men not mental illness, I don't want to use that term really, but how, how would you describe it? Um, um, well, you know, I, I would say managing. Oh, managing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. More of managing your mood, managing, um, your body so if you are having immense pains that can affect your mood and that affects how your your thought processes and all of that so it's more of a pain management okay. um, substance and then yeah mood management and now they're finding even with um, acne it's really helping acne and the skin so oh okay mm -hmm. okay I noticed that, that you know that there are hundreds of different types of products and I know you brought along some of ours and we'll talk about these in, in just a few minutes but there's oils there's lotions there's edibles um, I think that's covered the three main food groups um, mm -hmm. can you think of anything else um, our newest product and a product that's becoming very new on the market is the bath bombs. Uh -huh. um, a lot of products don't have enough CBD, so it becomes diluted. They're not formulated for dilutions. So ours, that was one of our big focus, is if we're going to launch a new product with CBD, would be um, formulating a bath bomb that's going to concentrate. So oh, okay. you're really gonna feel the benefit. I suppose at the moment, um I know trade has been hard. When we first met, we were doing the um, the Fourth Avenue mm -hmm. thing here in town. Yes, and that's how we all came together mm -hmm. on this. How successful was that for you? Because you'd only been in business then probably, what, three or four months? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was actually um, very successful. And we found that in local events that um, Longmont has produced and um, has really helped us get our name out there and create a following. Um, we uh, do a lot of events and then online. Now would be a good time to do this. Why don't you take us a little bit through the different products that you brought along today? Sure. I know this is not everything. Our best sellers, we'll best put it sellers, that way. Uh -huh. Good way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just briefly go through there and explain, you know, what its use is 
and, and what it's trying to help. Sure. So we have um, the tinctures, which is Tindicon Innovations, our sister company that we cultivate with. And the tinctures, we have a citrus tincture, an elderberry tincture, and a sleep tincture. The fan favorite is the citrus, and it's 1,000 milligrams of CBD, organic MCT oil, which is coconut oil, and um, an, an organic extract. So this is citrus, the elderberry is organic um, elderberry extract. And then our sleep has lavender and mint, and it has an additional CBN in it. The CBN is what makes you sleep. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people use melatonin, but that can mess with your natural sleep cycles or when you become immune to it. So we added CBN, and the CBN to the CBD um, helps promote restful sleep, and um, that also helps with anxiety. All CBD helps with um, inflammation, but it's kind of like um, a vitamin. If you take it regularly every day, you'll feel the benefits better. Um, so it helps with relaxation, anxiety, inflammation, um, many other things, but those are the, the main ones. Mm -hmm. See, one of the things that surprised me a little bit, I know you want to talk about a couple of things, but I just want to backtrace. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I found this article, which I found absolutely fascinating, and I'm probably going to pronounce this horribly wrong, okay? But what I didn't know was the human body has this thing called endocannabinoid system, mm -hmm. which is for sleep, yes, mm -hmm. basically, um, and, it, and it affects the neurotransmitters in the brain. Mm -hmm. Now, I do smoke smoke, and um, I know how that affects the neurotransmitters mm -hmm. in the brain. Um, so it's kind of interesting that, that CBD, of course, being yes. a cannabinoid, yeah. it sort of like meshes together with the body's own no, yeah. system. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And the receptors, yes. In our body, one thing we do as well is we add it with magnesium because magnesium has a smaller macule than um, the cannabis. Okay. But our body will recognize yes. it, absorb it, and utilize it quicker. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and I think that's why so many people feel the benefits of CBD, hemp, marijuana is because your body recognizes it because it's in our bodies. It's in our bodies, which mm -hmm. is why it's, of course, natural, which means that all these laws that have been governing us for centuries are just, well, a century, <laughs> are absolute nonsense. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. Because you're keeping away from the body something the body does on its own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go back to these products. I think there's a couple more you wanted to talk about. Yeah, so we could talk about the bath bombs. Okay. Um, they are, we have a, a variety of different milligrams, but our strongest is 3,000 milligrams, and it has zero THC in it. And the topical products, especially the bath bombs, are a great way for people who want to experience CBD but can't um, digest it because they might get drug tests. Mm -hmm. They can utilize the bath bombs and the cream. Oh, okay. And, um, they are, we try to really minimal, minimize the essential oil use and up the absolutes because it's softer on the skin. And we don't use any harsh fillers with like cornstarch um, or I don't know, and the other scary things people are putting in their bath products. Yeah. Yes, and then the creams. It's all in-house, so we start with a shea butter coconut base, and then we melt down the magnesium, the coconut, and the jojoba, and we combine it all together and whip it, to, and you get amazing results. And there it is. Yes. Yeah. And one thing that um, all of our products are vegan, gluten-free, um, no animal testing, and even our packaging is biodegradable. You can test it on me anytime you wish. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the film that yes. we use is also um, ocean friendly. Mm -hmm. So everything that we have, um, we try to minimize any plastic or anything that's going to harm the environment or anyone else. So, yes. And we um, do have, I think the only real plastic um, in our packaging is the... Uh, the caps Bottles, is caps the caps to the top. Yes. Right now, you have to have them childproof. Yes. So, 
Yeah. But, but that sort of, mm -hmm. that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you could obviously go for something like aluminum. Yeah. But, but now the cost is starting to go mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, when it comes to retail, <laughs> yeah. every Got penny it. counts. And I, there really isn't anybody producing um, biodegradable child safe caps for the products. <clears throat> that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once we find somebody, <laughs> we'll, we'll make the switch. <laughs> You'll make the switch. That's good. Now, I also know, because a little birdie told me this, that you're also developing new product. So here you, you, you're covering sort of like, you know, creams and bath, etc. How about um, something, shall we say, um, that can be ingested? Sure. So we, um, what we're going to come out with first is capsules. So it would be the tinctures in a capsule, which is uh, vegan-free or vegan. Um, and that is very simple. It's clean. You can take it with you. Um, and then we'll move into gummies um, or candies because people do like that. That's very popular. But we want to make sure that it's um, sugar-free gluten-free and vegan, and that recipe is really hard to master with well, the can, oil. I can imagine. Let's talk about selling the product. We've just gone through two years of hell, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's ending anytime soon. So how are you still able to sell your product? We do it online. Um, selling online is a little bit more challenging when it comes to marketing and sales, because even though it's federally legal, um, there are companies, the biggest ones, Facebook, Google, don't allow any to, to, to promote CBD. Mm -hmm. um, it's still lumped in with marijuana. Um, so that's been challenging, but we have um, you know pretty decent online following, and we have a website, we do free shipping, and that's helped. Um, and th those sales have increased. Um, it does help having things in person, um, but that's why we do the events that are following all the regulations with COVID and what's happening here. But um, online is our, our biggest. That's your, yeah. Biggest money Well, maker. I mean, what's happening with COVID is probably one of the only safest ways of being able to sell product. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I hate spending money with Amazon, to be honest with you. However, I spent one hell of a lot over the it, last yeah. few years. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. And Online I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I, there was something I ordered in the morning. It was on my doorstep in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're not crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just just amazing. You'd never realize it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. And before, it's like you're waiting three weeks to get your package, and now it's the couple of hours later. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's un, it's, it really is unbelievable. Let's talk a little bit here about the different ways CBD affects a person. Because obviously, it can be a little bit confusing. We've got the, the bath balls, we've got the gels, we've got the tinctures, we've got all of this, soon to have gummies and you know capsules. But obviously, each one is aimed at a particular thing. Right, right. Okay? Why don't you quickly talk about where these products fit in? Sure. So I have always been very active, but I'm also accident prone. So I have a lot of injuries. And um, so that's why I wanted a cream for sore muscles, joints, things like that. So the creams are really good for anything that is isolated, whether you have arthritis or um, you just exercise a lot or you're like me and you're accident prone, you fall. Um, so the creams are really good for that. The tinctures um, last longer, um, and that would be the same thing with a gummy or an edible. Um, so you would take those to have a longer lasting effect. Um, and the bath bombs, I'll let you explain a little bit more about the benefits you get from the bath bombs. Oh yeah, I think you get an all over body effect with the bath bombs. And again, going back, if you can't um, have THC, you can definitely get the benefits of the CBD with the bath bombs. And we have a lot of people that will just like, if you don't aren't into baths, they'll fill up a little foot bath and soak their feet if they're on their feet a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, if you have carpal tunnels, just a little dish with warm water, soak your wrists. It's a good way to get the benefits of CBD if you can't have THC. Right. And we've had some of our, um, 
um, clients actually have been um, a little older in age, and we had one particular who fell and broke his ribs, mm -hmm. and he was on OxyContin, and his nurse told him to try CBD for the healing and the anti-inflammatory um, anti effect, and he was able to quickly get off the pain medicines, use strictly the, the CBD, and healed a lot quicker. Um, so it does help with um, injuries, too. Interesting. Mm -hmm. when, when I was going through this, one thing they mentioned that a lot of athletes actually take it after they have run a marathon mm -hmm. because it helps the body recover mm -hmm. that much quicker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something that I'd never ever considered before. Right. With point three um, THC in there, I, I doubt whether that you'd, you'd fail oh. a drug test. It's hard because, again, if you're doing it over time, it kind of Oh, you builds. could have a small build-up? Mm -hmm. But um, with the topicals, some people, even if it does, there's a little bit of THC, they won't use it, but I don't necessarily know how the THC would penetrate through the skin into the bloodstream where right. you would fail a drug test. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I've had a good idea. You're going to like this. Why don't you open a spa? That is actually what we are looking no. into. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we already had your idea. No. <laughs> There's been actually a lot of movement in the beauty industry for CBD because how it has been proven to help skin um, well, and, and blemishes. Yeah, skin blemishes and, again, relaxation. So a lot of people are going to the spas to get centered, relax, and giving people a little bit of CBD before their treatment really helps achieve that effect. Mm -hmm. And Excellent. massage therapy, too. A lot of massage therapists are implement, implementing and incorporating CBD in their oils. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did not know that. So because you are definitely getting into the spa business, that means you must be going bricks and mortar in the near future. Yes, yes. As soon as we find the right location um, and the right building, then that's where we will Perfect. open up. I like there. bricks and mortar shops. Yes. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, I, I like to wander around and just look at stuff. Me too. Right. You know, it must be my female side. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to go wander and look at stuff. Absolutely. Um, I think we have covered everything that we wanted to talk about today. But do you have any closing words um, that you'd like to say now to, to the audience about CBD, your company, yourself, et cetera? Sure, um, so one thing I'd like to say is, one, thanks for everybody in Longmont and our online followers to support us because you're supporting small businesses. And um, we also like to, um, say that you know we have very lovely clean um, organic natural products so um, yes and I'd like to say if anybody has any questions about CBD or how um, they should incorporate it into their lifestyle definitely shoot us an email or call because we can answer those questions excellent yeah. excellent Thank you so much for coming into the studio today. It's been an absolute pleasure sitting down and talking to you rather than standing up with thousands of people around, around us, yes. um, all elbowing their way to get your product. Um, obviously, I hope your business is highly, highly successful. You deserve to be highly successful. Just for the effort that you put into it, you're, you're not <laughs> buying product, you're creating. Yes. yes. From yes. start to finish. To finish. Yeah. And, and that sums up what small business is all about, or should be all about. I wish there was more money being spent on research to find out the actual benefits, but as we talked about, cannabinoids are actually part of us. We're born with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's obviously a lot of stuff to be looked at, investigated, and all the rest of it. But once again, thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. This was Rational Alchemy. I'm Nigel Aves, your host, signing off. The only thing I'd like to end with, I wish I had been sitting between these two wonderful people purely because I could then say I was a thorn between two roses. Over and out. Rational Alchemy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>